are here. Today I'm doing the Eureka Math Grade 4 Module 4 Lesson 5 homework. So let's get started. Number one, identify the measures of the following angles. Alright, so here we're going to start using a protractor. So for our first angle, we have an acute angle. We have an arch, arch here to show what we're measuring. So we're measuring this angle. We look at the protractor, we line up the bottom of the angle to zero. And now it skip counts by 10. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So our angle ends right at 60, which means this angle is 60 degrees. And um, our, our angle measure makes sense because the right angle is 90 degrees. So since this is acute, an acute angle, this would be less than 90 degrees. And 60 is less than 90, so our answer makes sense. Let's look at B. So we're measuring this obtuse angle, so our answer should be more than 90 degrees. So we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, and uh, here we have 110, 120, 130. So it lands right at 130 degrees. It's more than 90 degrees. Now see, this one is interesting because we have our we have an angle here. But then the art thing telling us to measure is telling us to measure outside of the angle. So what we're measuring here, um, we're not measuring the angle, we're measuring the thing surrounding it, so the outside of the angle. So we start from zero and we make our way up to 180, 190, 200, 210, 220, 230, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 300, 310, and this lands in the middle of 310 and 320. So a halfway mark between 310 and 320 would be 315. So this would be 315 degrees. All right, and now let's look at D. Let's see, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120. It's just 120 degrees. All right, next page. This is our final problem. Number two, if you didn't have a protractor, how could you construct one? Use words, pictures, or numbers to explain in the space flow. Well, honestly, if you don't have one, I'd say um, maybe you can like take a square and keep folding it until like there's like the creases. And when you fold something, there's like the creases, and then you can label them as your angles. So, I think. If you didn't have a protractor, one way you can make one is to keep folding a square and label the creases. Label the creases and the angles of the angle measures. So then you have one. If you want to kind of draw it out, it's like a square. And I don't know how to draw that. You just keep on like I don't know, folding it. Oh, that's a bad drawing. That's a really uneven drawing, but that's okay. Just keep folding until you have like the creases and you can label the angle measures, I guess. So yeah. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video helps. And please don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps on my channel. See you guys next time. Bye!